Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 46, and this is war number eight. And we're going against an alliance called Zeus. All right, <clears throat> let's see who do they ban. Warlock, Ghost, and Kingpin. Okay. Let's... Uh... Take a look at what they got planned for us. Oh boy. <clears throat> so I got two global defenders. Great, 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 great. All right, well, of course, neither one of them benefit from the node, but they got the global. So, yeah. All right. I am so over this uh, season. I can't wait for it to be over. So, I don't know who I'm gonna choose for uh, that abomination. <clears throat> Somebody that's poison immune maybe. Cause I can see what Kabam wants us to do. They want us to use a lot of resources. Maybe boost up invulnerability every single time, you know? I don't know. Uh, for that, Emma Frost, I could bring in OG Iron Man. Let's see. All right, so Section 2 seems a bit better. Um, <clears throat> that'll be a Magneto fight there with uh, Future Ant-Man. Now, this one, that's interesting. Who would I choose? I might choose, um, wait, she gets armor ups, doesn't she? Um, I believe she does Let's see, can't remember. Yeah. <clears throat> so it looks like I'll be using Hulkling then. Hulkling might be the uh, the way to go, because I'll have to deal with the shock of that node. So Magneto, <clears throat> Hulkling. I'll probably use Hulkling on that uh, Abomination then. And uh, OG Iron Man. Oh, man. And then I'll get assigned to somebody and probably die a bunch of times. All right. <clears throat> anyway, let's get on with the fighting. All right. I'm going in with Magneto, Lady Deathstrike, and Hulkling. If you watched my last war video, I mentioned that I had a secret weapon. And that secret weapon is Lady Deathstrike. And you're going to be seeing a lot more of her in the coming war videos. And I'll tell you why as the time permits. So first up, we've got Abomination. Now, Hulkling is great. Abomination on this node requires you to have a decent counter. Um, you want to go in with somebody who's immune to poison. And he doesn't benefit from this node because he doesn't get any armor ups or anything. But it does mean you got to come in with a poison immune champion. That can take away some of your defensive options later on. We understand the rationale. Fortunately, Hulkling is immune to shock. He's immune to poisons. And he's a great champion that I can use elsewhere. So I'm not bringing him in just for this fight. All right, look at that. He's turtling up. Hulkling don't care. He's like, hey, stay there. Uh-oh. Whoa. Yeah. Who cares? Let's get him. Come on. Because Hulkling tough. Look at this. Oh, oh. How you like that? Just evading. See, I know how to evade his special. Boom. Hulkling finished 
full health. Yeah. Oh, I love my Hulkling. He almost went up over Hercules. Almost. All right, now. This is a Lady Death Strike. Now, you notice that this Emma Frost is not awakened. They like doing that because it'll trip you up. But you can evade her normally. There's no reverse controls when she's not awakened. All right. So here you go. She's immune to a lot of things, but she ain't immune to rupture. So Lady Deathstrike gonna take it to her. All right. Look at this. Let's come on. Yeah. Yeah. We ain't worried about all that. Now, you'll notice that I went far back and the root didn't matter. Look at this. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Now, here's the wonderful thing about Lady Deathstrike. I'm evading those, but even if I miss and I forget and I get hit, it won't matter. That's why I like Lady Deathstrike. Come on. Throw that up. Throw that up. Yeah. Oh, look, look. Oh. Now, you didn't get to see it because I had the um, invulnerability boost on. But she wouldn't have needed it. And down goes Emma Frost. Just like that. We're getting much better now that we've got some decent options. Because trying to deal with this meta in a... Well, I should say we gave up trying to deal with it using the tools that we were given. So now we're just going in either trying to nuke them down fast or get somebody that can evade the specials um, or somebody that can heal up. So that's what we, we, we're doing now. All right. So here we go. Come on. And this person is running the Ouchie Masteries. What you know. Now, I like it when they do that. Because it makes my life easier, especially if they don't put down uh, champions that benefit from them on defense. So you can see he's just losing health. Just makes it my life easier. Look at this. Haven't even done much. In fact, I don't even need to go to a special three. Boom. Now, he he um, has a, a cap on the damage. But don't matter. He went down anyway. Loving it. Loving it. All right. Next fight is Lady Deathstrike. Hmm. Interesting. Now, the thing with Lady Deathstrike and why she makes a great attacker and defender in this meta is that your specials, special one and special two, I believe, I don't think the special three does it, she heals up from the damage done to her with a special one or two. So you don't really want to deal with her firing specials. Um, I, when I'm facing her in battlegrounds i get to a special three that is what i do and of course we have the glancing because she does have that armor up but you'll see i'm not firing my special uh one or two only the special three because she can't glance that and she won't heal up from it Whew. And probably one more of those would do the trick, but I don't know if she's going to survive that long. But, oh, that glancing. Now, if I can get a, um, you know, get my pierce going, that'd be nice. Woo, unblockable. Get away, get away. Yeah. There go that glancing again. Now, I noticed something. They really don't like to block. Okay, now she's blocking. They really don't like to block uh, when you are facing, when they're facing certain champions that benefit from hitting into their block. Suddenly they just drop their hands and start looking at you. They'll just start walking at you. No blocking. Just, just, 
walk into you, you try to fight them, blah, and then they intercept. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But anyway, got her down. No problem. Now we come to my mini that I got to deal with. And I'm always worried about what mini I get assigned. I got to watch because some of the fights look like they're doable, but it might just be that I can't do it, you know, or I just won't do it well. This, this, especially the root, is really, really bad for me. Um, I, I tend to freak out. And in the middle of the fight, that's not good. And I'm not doing what I should be doing, you know. Even stuff that I know better than to do, you know, it really freaks me out. But I'm familiar with this node. I'm familiar with this champion. And I'm familiar with um, his specials and how to deal with him on this node. He's not a global defender. So we're good. So we're going in. Just fighting normal. Maybe try to build up uh, a little bit. Now, I was surprised um, it was going a little bit slower than I wanted it to. Um, but I want him to, you know, fire his specials. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful. And I was trying to get to a special two. That's what I want to do. All right. Now I got a special two. So I'm waiting, getting my cosmic charges. Oh, unblockable. That's fine. Even if I got hit, it wouldn't have mattered. All right. See, I'm trying to hit him into his block. Okay, there we go. Now I'm unblockable. Bam. Yes. Ooh. And finished it off with a 41K crit. That's nasty. And I, with the power back boost, I'm not sure if I would have been able to do back-to-back uh, specials because he might have been in that uh, his healing mode and power lock me um, but we didn't need to all right so that is all of my fights for this war we'll be back and you'll see how this war ended and we're back and as you can see we won this war as well We've been doing pretty good this season, I must say. Uh, just check this out here. Shout out to our MVPs. But we did pretty decently in this uh, war. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.